Is it focused? My hair is so crazy today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, oh my gosh, we are still in quarantine. I don't even know how this is going to end or when this is going to end. I don't know. Some days I wake up and think about it really deeply and I feel like I'm going insane and I'm stuck in this really weird nightmare so I try not to think about it. So yeah, we are stuck in this really weird situation. Um, most of us are in quarantine right now and a lot of people aren't able to continue with their regular jobs. Most people have to adapt and work from home. It's a really weird situation. I work from home. I always did. I have my clothing brand, so I, I deal with everything from home and I work with my social media, Instagram, YouTube, and now TikTok. Yeah, I got into that by the way, so if you guys haven't followed me there, just go follow me. It's Iris Love Unicorns. It's the same for every single platform. I'm almost completing now two weeks in quarantine. Tomorrow is going to, to turn like two, two weeks. And that made me create new ways and create new formulas for me to keep doing my job. I even think I'm working like the double or triple right now because I'm stuck at home and I get bored so I create a lot of content. But I have to create new original ways to take my pictures as well because I didn't want to stop working and I didn't want to stop giving you guys content. So I guess I'm going to share my my knowledge with you all right now and let you guys know how you can take cool pictures from home and I guess we're going to do it now let's do this so I decided to divide this video in categories I think it's going to be easier to explain some of these categories are just like places in our house and some of them are just tricks I don't know for this you will need a tripod I will use a tripod in mostly every single picture I took now there's a lot of cheap tripods you can buy on eBay and some of them have remote control mine doesn't but I need to invest on one of those cuz yeah it will help a lot if you have a remote control to take pictures so first category I call the kitchen so every one of us has a kitchen and if you can take pictures there or not it will depend on the lighting as well it of course depends on how your kitchen looks but even if your kitchen is not like totally modern what I recommend you doing is remove everything leave it super empty and if it has color and you don't like the color you can always go to Photoshop or Facetune and put in black and white and keep the color on yourself so it will look definitely more modern on the kitchen I would recommend for you to have like a loungy outfit and just just pretend like you're doing a regular activity that you will do in the kitchen like maybe eating on this picture I took on my kitchen I was eating cereal you can eat like a bag of chips you can try to pretend like you are cooking something that will help to just keep the picture as natural as possible the second category is the bed so the bed it's a place that I think is very safe it's in your room so no one is going to bother you and an unmade bed is going to look really cute so I would advise you to leave your bed a little bit messy also try to wear a very loungy and comfy outfit and remove the shoes have just your socks on and a very cool loungy outfit and try to have like a top to bottom angle with your tripod so it will look cool and you can have different poses you can turn upside down uh, you can sit in all these weird positions and also other thing that I think would be cool is also do an activity that relates to the bed so maybe read a book maybe write on your diary or maybe wearing just a cute lingerie with a big oversized shirt on top I don't know, cute stuff that will look like it fits on the bed but overall I think the pictures on the bed look really cute and have this angelic vibe to it so it's a really good place to take it in your house so the third category is a sofa or couch whatever you want to call it I really like to take pictures on the couch I think it looks very cute but I know there's some really really ugly couches out there so in case that's your case take a really big bed sheet or a duvet cover white or neutral once again and just put it on top of your sofa and it will look more artistic and cool and minimal and take a picture with weird positions on your sofa like stretching uh, upside down legs up head down you can put your whole body on the floor and just the feet on top of the sofa I don't know be creative with your position use the bed sheet or a duvet cover if you want to hide 
the colors of your sofa and once again don't forget that if your sofa is beautiful but in a weird color you can always do the photoshop or facetune to put it in black and white so the fourth category is what i like to call the mini studio so of course we don't have like a photo studio at home but we can try to make one and this is a cool option for people that really don't like the aesthetic of the house they're in and for this what we'll need is to find a space in your house that has like a completely empty wall if it's not empty you can empty yourself like drag the furniture then if the floor of your house is cute then you're good to go if it has a weird color you can always put it in black and white but if you don't like it at all then once again you can use a bed sheet or a duvet cover and just put it on the floor and then you have a mini studio ready to shoot also another tip, if you don't have a window nearby, you can always do it on your hallway and open the entry door to have more lighting. And here in the mini studio, you are completely free to do weird poses, grab a pillow and put on the floor, sit on top, grab a chair. I did these pictures with just a chair alone, it looks very artistic and the aesthetic is really cool. And a chair is very cool because you can do different positions, you can put yourself on top of the chair, you can turn the chair around, you can do a lot of things with the chair, so I highly recommend a share any type of share and once again you have ugly shares put a cover on it now the next category is what I think everyone will relate to which is mirror pictures and for mirror pictures any kind of mirror will do you can take pictures with a large mirror those are my favorites you can grab them and take them anywhere that's my first tip and I think the most important you need to understand that mirrors are completely flexible so you can take them and move them around the house try to find a better spot with better lighting for you to take a mirror picture and if you have a full-length mirror it's great to take full outfit pictures and you can zoom in to try to uh, remove the borders from the mirror and have like a clear picture half-length mirrors are also very cute you can take detailed pictures with no head they look very cute and you can take pictures sitting down crunching also another mirror you can use it's like really tiny mirrors like small beauty mirrors you can use them they look very cute you can hide your phone and take like small shots of your face like this one I took with a face mask you can do something like that or even use the really tiny mirrors on your makeup shadow palettes or blush if you look on them and take a picture like of your eye or something yeah it's a really cool option another category is outside so this will very much depend on the type of house you have if you have a house with a backyard this is the perfect option for you if you only have a balcony this is going to be a little bit harder but you can also do it so what you can do is just take your regular tripod and go outside try to find the best wall with the best lighting outside it really depends if you like pictures on the shadow or with the great sun exposure and also another trick that I learned that I've been loving is the fake mirror so we don't have mirrors outside most of us and it's a little hard to take your regular mirror and just grab it and go outside with it it can break and it's heavy so what I like to do is take a tripod put it in the place that you want to take a picture and put your camera or another like a friend's phone your mom's phone whatever and then pose with your regular phone pretending you are taking a picture of yourself in a mirror although you're not I did that to this picture and I really liked how it looked it really looks like I have a mirror outside but I don't I promise you it's worth it you will look crazy but it's it's totally worth it and looks really really cute now these were like the main categories I wanted to, to tell you guys but there are some other pictures you can take at home one of them is selfies of course selfies are very easy to take and you can take them anywhere in front of a window and it's it's always like a post it's always something it's content so that's a good option other option is feed fillers I love feed fillers I call them feed fillers I don't know if anyone knows what it is but it's like uh, pictures that don't involve me so it's like details furniture a pair of shoes a hanging coat something like that and you can do that at home so easily and it's also content it also makes your feet look great and the last last option you have is to go to your car or your parents car and take inside the car or if you have a garage you can go down to your garage and you have one of those garages that look like a parking lot or something those garages are very cool to take pictures with and if you don't have like me you can also go to a car and take inside the car 
and there you go it's another place so yeah there's a lot of options and a lot of places in your house that you can explore and try to create content please don't give up on content and please don't give up on general activities because it's very easy for us to get stuck in this mindset that we are at home and we are lazy and we don't want to do stuff because our brain is going to give us so many excuses. I hope this video helps you to create content and to be active while you're home. Give it a thumbs up if you like my ideas. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, all that stuff. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. See you guys next Tuesday.